after failing to secure an interim rental flat under the Parenthood Provisional Housing Scheme PPHS, an assistant manager, who wanted to be known only as Miss Pear, resigned herself to renting a three-room flat in Ong Mo Kyo for $2.900 a month in 2022. The 34-year-old, who works in healthcare, said she was disappointed when she learned that rental vouchers under the PPHS for flats or bedrooms on the open market were fixed at $300 a month. National Development Minister Desmond Lee announced details of the voucher scheme on March 5 during a parliamentary debate on his ministry's budget. The voucher scheme will run from July 2024 to June 2025, allowing eligible families waiting for their built-to-order BTO units to offset rent for a housing bought flat or bedroom on the open market. But Miss Pear, who applied more than three times for a temporary home in 2021 before committing to a two-year lease, said, $300 a month is not sufficient support at all compared with high rents and rising costs of living. I have blown my savings and the financial stress took a toll on my marriage. By the time my BTO flat is ready in 2025, I'm not sure if I'd have enough to cover the remaining down payment. To qualify for the rental voucher scheme, families must have a monthly household income of $7.000 or below and have an uncompleted flat from HDB sales exercises. The initiative aims to provide these families with more support as HDB works to double its supply of interim rental flats under the scheme from the two. 000 units now to 4,000 units by 2025. Other buyers awaiting their BTO flats told the Straits Times that the rental voucher scheme was a good initiative, but that they would continue to apply for a PPHS flat as rents on the open market are steep. A customer service officer, who wanted to be known only as Miss Arifa, 25, said she would continue to live with her family while trying her luck for a PPHS flat. I would still prefer to rent from HDB. Even though the chances are not high. Renting on the open market is too expensive, said Miss Arifa, whose forum BTO flat will be completed in 2027. A 24 year old engineering undergraduate, who declined to be named, noted that two room flats under PPHS are priced for rental at around $400 to $550 a month, while three room units are between $600 and $900. Rents for three room flats on the open market are at a minimum $2,300 a month. Plus, the voucher is only for a limited time, she added. A healthcare worker, who wanted to be known only as Mr. Tan, 27, said he hoped for a higher voucher amount for couples with children. I've been trying to rent a bedroom, but I keep getting rejected as I have a three-month-old daughter, and landlords are afraid she may disturb other tenants when she cries, he said. Adding that he cannot afford to rent a whole unit. Mr. Tan said he is currently living with a colleague but has to move out by end March. I have exhausted all my options, he said. Mr. Lee told Parliament on March 5 that the voucher amount was carefully calibrated to help families defray the cost of renting a flat on the open market while mitigating its potential inflationary impact on the rental market. The authorities will monitor the voucher's impact on the rental market he said. Second Minister for National Development Indrani Roja said in a video interview with STE on March 7 that about 400 families that qualify for PPHS are currently renting on the open market. Asked about the impact the voucher could have on the rental market, Ms Indrani said the authorities did not want it to be so much that it would actually induce demand and then have a knock-on effect on the market. She said that at the end of the voucher's run, the government will assess demand and market conditions before determining 
if it is necessary to continue with the scheme. Probnix Realty Chief Executive Ismail Gafor said families would still have to bear substantial rental costs even after factoring in the voucher. He noted that in 2023, the average rent for two-room flats was $2,147 a month, and for three-room units, it was $2,647 a month. However, Ms. Christine Sun, chief researcher and strategist at property firm Orange Tea Group, said the voucher would provide more help for those who opt for room rentals. In Pungal, where the median rent is $1,275 a month for a bedroom, the voucher would cover about 23.5% of the rental cost, she added. On March 5, Mr. Lee also announced that the upfront down payment for couples eligible for deferred income assessment will be lowered to 2. 5% of the flat price, regardless of their financing option, under HDB's staggered down payment scheme. This will take effect from the BTO sales exercise in June. Ms. Indrani told ST that for some young couples who have yet to build up their income, such as students and national servicemen, forking out the down payment on a flat can be daunting and difficult. By reducing the initial deposit, there is less cash outlay, and they can pay the remaining down payment at key collection when they earn more and when their finances grow with time. She added. Psychology undergraduate Nur Aciao, 23, who plans to apply for a four-room flat in the June exercise, said this means she and her fiancé can likely offset the first deposit with Central Provident Fund CPF savings without having to dip into their cash savings. We plan to save up $10,000 in cash, in case our CPF savings couldn't cover the initial down payment. Now, we are more certain that we can afford it, she added. Miss Sarah Lowe. 23, who started a full-time job in marketing in November, said, My boyfriend and I would be able to fund the lower down payment by ourselves, and we won't have to ask for help from our parents. Previously, the upfront down payment under the scheme had already been half to 5% for buyers, taking HDB loans and those without a housing loan, and 10% for buyers opting for bank loans. Flat buyers, taking HDB loans, must pay a total down payment of 20% of the price of the unit. For those opting for bank loans, it is 25% of the flat price. ERA Singapore Key Executive Officer Eugene Lim said the move could help young couples afford more expensive flats, such as those in prime locations. Making BTO flats more easily accessible for full-time students or national servicemen may give younger couples the confidence to start family planning earlier. He added.